I'm going to be showing you how to play my brand new Sim Shalom off my album Life. It sounds best on my voice, I think, in the key of A, but I like the open G chord voicings for this. So I put my capo on two, and uh, we'll just go through it piece by piece, and we'll start with the chorus, even though the song doesn't begin with that. Uh, the chords for the chorus are just E minor, D, C, G. Very simple. If you want to switch up your D chord for something more colorful, one easy way to do that is to play this, uh, this D, which is really just the C shape brought up two frets. And I also fret the sixth string up on the seventh fret with my third finger there. So, seem shalom, seem shalom, seem shalom, seem shalom, seem shalom, seem shalom. Okay, now let's move on to the verse. For the verses, I put my second finger up on the sixth string, up on the fifth fret, and I put my third finger also on the fifth fret, but on the second string. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pluck the sixth string with my thumb, and afterwards I'm going to pluck the second and third string with my first and second fingers. Sound like that. And then I do a double hammer-on on the third string in the uh, fourth and sixth fret. So it'll sound like this. One more time. And then the cool thing is that you're just going to repeat that hammer on thing but move the bass around for the rest of this. So it'll sound like this. First you're on the on the fifth fret sixth string for the bass. Then you're going to go open that again. Then you're going to go to the fifth string fifth fret. And then you're going to go back to the sixth string fifth fret. And that's one half of the verse. So if I were to play it and sing Tova Uvracha Chen Vachesed Verachamim Tova Uvracha Okay, now we get to both the pre-chorus and the intro to the whole song. The chords, you could play them open, just E minor, D, C, but I think it sounds a little bit prettier to use this other voicing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the 9th, 10th, and 11th frets, and I'm going to make this 5-bar minor chord uh, uh, shape, except I'm going to leave the first and third strings open. So what I really am doing is I've got my first finger on the fifth string in the ninth fret, I've got my second finger on the tenth fret second string, and I've got my third finger on the fourth string eleventh fret. Okay, so... And then what I use is, I, I finger pick it using thumb, and I'll call it first, second, and third fingers. Your first, second, and third fingers um, are going to always be on the uh, first, second, and third strings, like that. Um, the pattern repeats. So the pattern that I like to play is thumb on the fifth string, and then I do third string with my first finger. Then I do second string with my second finger, and then I go back to third string, and then I go up to the first string. So, so far it's... And then I just go back and pluck three, two, uh, strings three and two, like this. And that is the end of the pattern. So. If I were to call it the string numbers, it's five, three, two, three, one, three, two. If I were to use my um, fingers, I would call it thumb, first, second, first, third, first, second. And that pattern repeats, though now we're going to change chords. Now we're going to do sort of this dominant five string shape, uh, if it were a bar, five string bar chord. Again, just leaving open this whole time the first and third strings. And we're gonna use that same pattern 
Uh, so if I'm calling out fingers, it's thumb first, second, first, third, first, second. Or if I were calling string numbers, it would be, you know, five, three, two, three, one, three, two. All right, and the last chord shape, you're gonna put your first finger on the fifth string, fifth fret. You're gonna put your second finger on the second string, fifth fret, and you're gonna put your third finger on the sixth string, I'm sorry, the sixth fret, fourth string. So you've got, nice colorful chord same sh now the pattern changes a little bit here this time we're gonna go thumb first second second I'm sorry thumb first second first and now we're just gonna go three two one thumb but this time thumb is gonna hit the fourth string so the one place where the where the chord the the finger picking pattern changes a little bit so um, strings if I call it the strings instead of the thumb or the fingers it'd be five two five three two three one two three four okay so one more time And that whole thing is going to repeat for the whole pre-chorus and the intro. So we're up here. And if I sing this time. And actually I like to anticipate that fourth string. So. So, um, and then you're into the chorus. Seem shalom, seem shalom, seem shalom. So we do this for the intro. You'd repeat that, then you'd go into the seem shalom, seem shalom, seem shalom. Then you're into the verse. Tova, uvracha, chen b'chesed verachamim. Tova, uvracha, chen b'chesed verachamim. Pre-chorus, which is the same as the intro. Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael amcha. And that one repeat. You could do another chorus, you could go back to the verse. When you finish the last chorus you want to sing, you go back to the verse and just sing the Hatima over it. Baruch Ata Adonai Adonai Amvarech Et Amo Yisrael Bashalom. Hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, just put them below. Thanks. Bye.